Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, man, this is going to be my final thoughts on tomorrow night's Shakur Stevenson versus Joette Gonzalez. And, dude, this is actually going to be a very damn good fight, man. I'm actually very excited to see this damn fight just for the simple fact is, for those of you who follow my channel, you already know that Shakur Stevenson has always been one of my favorite prospects coming up and he is no longer a prospect. He went from prospect to contender and now he is finally going to be fighting for that damn WBO championship against Joette Gonzalez. And dude, the beef between these two is friggin' crazy, man. Especially you got a dude like Shakur Stevenson, who is dating Joette Gonzalez's sister. So it's definitely, definitely gonna make for an entertaining ass fight when these two meet in the ring because these two have hella bad blood going up against each other. Now, with that being stated, you got a dude like Shakur Stevenson, who I think is the more superior fighter going into this damn fight he's definitely going to be the faster fighter has faster reflexes he's technically more sound than a dude like joette gonzalez but the one thing going into this fight is he is not going to have a substantial reach advantage going up against joette gonzalez just for the simple fact is both of these dudes aren't too far off in height. I think Joette Gonzalez is like 5'7", and Shakur Stevenson, he's 5'8", but Joette Gonzalez actually has a little bit of a reach advantage going into this fight with a 70-inch reach, and Shakur Stevenson having a 68-inch reach, but it's still going to make for an entertaining fight with a dude like Joette Gonzalez, who is a very, very durable fighter. He definitely has that damn pop in his damn punches, and he is definitely gonna come into this fight and leave it all in the damn ring now the only thing that I really have going up against a dude like Joette Gonzalez is when you look at his fights and when you look at his particular type of style this is the type of style that a dude like Shakur Stevenson has definitely seen before Joette Gonzalez he's very much a basic type of boxer really doesn't use any head movement he more relies on the high guard not too much footwork he is more of a basic type of boxer and it's almost the type of style where i could literally see shakur stevenson picking him apart in this damn fight and joette gonzalez he is the type of fighter to stay in your face like i said he doesn't really use too much footwork or movement but going into this fight if he does not use his feet in this damn fight and is willing to stay in front of a dude like Shakur Stevenson, who has a great, great punch variety, being able to mix it up from the head to the body, body to the head, especially his straight left to the body, something that I could definitely see Shakur Stevenson breaking down a dude like Joette Gonzalez with. I can definitely see this being a short night for a dude like Joette Gonzalez, especially with the power that Shakur Stevenson has been bringing in in his past couple of fights. Now, with that being stated, the one thing that I can definitely say that Joette Gonzalez can have going for him is if he is able to stay on the inside with a dude like Shakur Stevenson and make it a damn dogfight with a dude like Shakur Stevenson. Just for the simple fact is, if he is going to be content on staying on the outside of a dude like Shakur Stevenson, I can definitely see Shakur Stevenson breaking his ass down and end up getting a mid-fight stoppage around the 6th to the 8th round. But if he is able to make this a dogfight with a dude like Shakur Stevenson, it can definitely, definitely make for a very entertaining fight. It will definitely give us some different looks from a dude like Shakur Stevenson, who is also very good on the inside. He 
has shown in his past fights that he is pretty slick on the inside, able to get his power punches off and able to evade those heavy shots from his opponents. But with that being stated, if I got to pick a winner, I am definitely picking Shakur Stevenson by a late stoppage in this damn fight. And like I said, I definitely see this being stopped in the mid rounds, anywhere from the sixth to the eighth round. If it happens to go longer, then so be it. But I definitely see Shakur Stevenson getting the nod in this fight and being the new WBO featherweight champion in that damn division. But I guess only time is going to tell when this damn fight happens. But when it does happen, we will definitely be seeing a spectacular display of skills from a dude like Shakur Stevenson and hopefully a very entertaining fight that's up ahead. Okay, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.